Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when we feel like it o'clock, and I'm Pearlism, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. And uh, I'm do I do fine picks for you daily here, except for on the weekends. But during the week, I do I do free picks. I give you free picks all the time. We're going to discuss some of the picks from the weekend. Uh, probably, uh, we'll probably just do Sundays. But uh, Calgary just scored here. Uh, <laughs> I'm sweating. I'm Okay, I got my over now. I'm sweating Ottawa to win this game because I have over and Ottawa. But we'll talk that in the... Uh, I won't go over all the Flame games on Saturday. Uh, Friday, I was down four units, or pearls, I like to call them. Saturday, though, I was up 13 units. So that puts me nine units. And today... I haven't actually calculated it, but it seems like I'm up just a little bit, like maybe four units or something like that. So we're up 13 units over the uh, weekend on hockey. Um, we I just started doing UFC. Uh, we did what, two for two, 500. So um, not bad. Hit a parlay. Oh, yeah, that's right. We hit a parlay. I forgot about that. That put us up. So we were up a unit on that. NCAA has not been going too good uh, lately. We're on a bit of a losing skid there. Uh, not too bad, but we don't put huge on the NCAA plays right now. Tennis, uh, I went through a bit of a skid, but I'm back at it again and still rocking. So if you like all that kind of stuff, if you want to make some money at that, uh, we're up like 47 units in tennis this year. You can figure that out if you bet $100 on each one of them. That's $4,700 you would have made in the past two months. Not too bad if you like making money and stuff like that. You go over to BPAL Picks now. I'll give you the month for free. Just here you go. Check it out. See if you like it. And, uh, oh, look like Calgary scored. Anyways, let's get to our picks for Sunday. And I'll show you the kind of things we do here at BPAL. Oh, J uh, Shurfy, uh, last name Shurfy won uh, Parlay Challenge. We do Parlay Challenges on Patreon. They got a free month, another free month. So if you put your parlays down there in the comment section, uh, people weren't doing it, so I stopped. But if you want to, throw it down there. You hit a parlay, I'll give you a free month. That's it. If you hit a parlay, I'll give you a free month uh, for you. $25 a month for free. For you so you can check it out I just want you to go check it out and have some fun boys and girls okay let's look at the picks for yesterday or today yesterday depends on when you're watching this today is the seventh so for the seventh we're on this one right now we had Ottawa ML for 270 uh, we got six minutes left and it's tied 3-3, but we also had the over for two to two and a half units for medium pearls, I like to call it. Whatever you whatever you call medium pearls, I like to call it about two units. That could be more or less for you. It doesn't matter. So let's say that Ottawa comes in. We're up a unit. If the over comes in, we're up like a unit or just over a unit and a half. Islanders, oh, we had a wonderful time with the Islanders today. We had Islanders in regulation and uh, over five and a half. I think it was regulation. Maybe it was ML. Doesn't matter. Something like that. Uh, and we had the over for half a unit and th large pearls on the over. So whatever you think is large for you times that by if I have at least I think it was 171 for the ml so times that by three quarters so let's say you did three units you would make uh, 150 two and a quarter two and a quarter units on that this one messed me up except I saved a little face I had under all day this was Vasilevsky and uh Lankinen, the kid Lankinen for Chicago in net in an afternoon game, which are usually unders, and uh, fairly tired teams. Very odd that this they just scored like at will. 
Chicago went up 3 nothing, and I'm like, oh, there goes my ML. And uh, probably my over. But good thing, the Lightning came back. We had a unit on the Lightning, so we made a little bit of money back. We lost 3, gained 1. So we were down 2. Uh, crushed. Well, sort of crushed. Yeah, crushed this game. That's right. We had Hurricanes in regulation for max for max units for uh, large pearls as I like to call it on my Patreon and uh, we had the over for medium I believe so that we made tons there it was because that was a plus money play the Hurricanes were 205 so we made three and uh, the plus was like about five five and a half something like that units this one took those all away, though. <laughs> we had uh, Bruins for large units, and we had the over for small. So it didn't take it all away. It took away a couple, though. The, this game screwed everybody up. Also screwed a parlay. My parlay got, didn't come in. Uh, all of that stuff like that. I had Bruins ML. The Devils had freaking Wedgwood in that their third string goaltender. They're playing on a back to back. They played the Rangers last night. There's Ferns have no business not winning this game. It's so weird what happens. But you know what? It was like a 92% play, and that be if it's a 92% play, there's still seven percent of the time it doesn't happen. So it didn't happen. Uh, Capitals versus Flyers. We had Capitals ML, but we had the over, unfortunately. So it kind of washed itself out. Uh, Penguins. This was a good one. We had two pearls on the Penguins, and we had two pearls on the over, but it was a wash. So we're up two units there. So what are we up all day here? I'll figure it out here in a second. Uh, this one, whatever we were up, yeah, we had stars in reg for large and uh, under for medium. So we lost five here. So let's say we lost five. We were up, what did we say? We were up two here. Wash. Uh, down, let's say three and a half. So we were down eight and a half. This would have been up three, up three, four and a half. So that's, uh, what did we say? We were down eight, so we're now f down four and a half. Um, lightning, we didn't have a huge bet on this. But we, oh yeah, we had the lightning, so that's, so that's six and a half down. And then, but the Islanders brought us back up to we had six and a half down. The Islanders would have brought us back down to four and a half down. And this, if we hit this, will bring us pretty much to even. So we pretty much went even on today's games. And on the weekend, maybe a little bit down. But the weekend, so overall, we're up a couple of units on the weekend. Not too shabby. Now remember here, something you might have taken a notice here. I bet every single game. I don't recommend that. I'm not, I, and I'm not actually betting. I'm giving these as an analysis to my, to people and to you, to use as your disposal. I recommend you use other cappers. I recommend that you use your own insights and stuff like that. If I were to actually bet these, I wouldn't bet all these. I'd be making tons on my large picks, on my best plays here. I'd hit like crazy. But I'm playing a lot of, I'm, I'm giving you analysis on games that most people wouldn't play, just to give you information. Okay, let's look at pool, at picks for tomorrow. Oh, yes, right here, right there. Okay, tomorrow's picks. We have, where are we here? Vegas versus Minnesota. I'm not a big fan of the game. Uh, both of them have played a lot. Minnesota's played home more. Uh, 
but Flurry will likely be in net. He's been a rock this year. Um, Talbot will be in net. He's not as good as Flurry. I think the best play here is the over. Minnesota's just going over every single game. Very offensive team. I got. I am gonna take Minnesota ML. Uh, they're just playing just because they're home and you're getting better juice. It's kind of a coin flip game. That's what I mean. Like probably I wouldn't play the line on this. I would play the over over five and a half. Uh, just Minnesota's going over all year. Both of them can score lots. If Vegas does win this, it'll probably because Tal they score a lot on Talbot. If Talbot's in. If Kakinen is in, I might reconsider. That's why if you go to Patreon, I'll tell you as things go, as things change, I'll give people information. Arizona versus Colorado. Uh, Colorado is very hurt. They have McKinnon out. They have um, McCarr. I think McCarr is back. But they have several injuries on their for in their forward group. This is actually a lot tougher play than you would think. Uh, Gibson's probably going to be a net two. I think the under on this is again, I think the total is, is the better play than the line here. Um, what's the line? I'm almost, you're not getting really good enough juice to go PL here for Arizona. I'm going to go Colorado for parlays or small pearls. But I'm going to go the under for a lot bigger bet, under five and a half, because Colorado is, sh is short uh, some fairly significant players that can score. And they haven't been doing all that well in the scoring department in general anyways. So, and Arizona doesn't score very much at all, although they have been getting better at that lately, but I'm still going to lean the under. Edmonton, Ottawa. Uh, Edmonton doesn't win this game, and... Well, I don't know. I, I, this is like, if I'm a general manager, this is a litmus test game. Ottawa just played Cal is playing Calgary right now. After this game, they got to get on a flight, go to Edmonton. Let's quickly look at their week, the way their week looked. Um, Right here, Ottawa. Yeah, they had, so they played three and four, had two days off, played Ottawa. Now they're playing a back-to-back. -back. This has been a tough game. It's going to go into overtime. Ottawa is not that strong of a team. I mean, they play hard. That's their main thing is they play hard. But they, they got to be tired on a back-to-back, -back, and Edmonton's got to be fresh. Not to mention, they're going to have their backup goaltender in, Decord who played in ECHL last year. Now, was the first game he played, I believe it might have been against Calgary. He actually held up not too bad, but I doubt that's going to happen on a regular basis. And that quite often happens with any goaltender that hasn't played in the league yet because the players don't have a read on them. But as soon as they play, now all of the coaches are going to be looking, they're going to do highlights, they're going to find their weaknesses, and they should destroy them. Ottawa should, or Edmonton should win this on the puck line. Um, probably, uh, it'll, we'll see who's in net. They may be putting Koskin in. If they put Koskin in here, I might lean the over. But it's at six and a half, so I'm not putting a lot on it. I might lean the over if they put Koskin in net, because Koskinen has not looked good lately. They might want to give Smith a, a break, though. So uh, next we go San Jose, St. Louis. Um, this is a pretty difficult game actually because St. Louis is very hurt, very injured. Um, they have, but they just got, uh, they just got, uh, why do I, Tarasenko back, which is their leading scorer from last year. So I'm leaning St. Louis ML. But St. Louis has been on the road for a very, very, very long time. And I would not put a lot of money on it is what I'm trying to say. Look at their injury list. Sunquist. Sunquist is big for them. Pareko is huge. Schwartz, like 
their injury list is insane. Now, San Jose's defense is terrible. And Ottawa, or St. Louis still has a lot of gunners, guys that can shoot in their lineup. Depending on the starting goaltending, it's supposed to be Jones. I would consider over six here. Um, but we will go, let's see, St. Louis is... See, they played, it's over here, it's Monday. Well, on the road for like four, five games in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nights, five games in eight nights. My gosh, I think San Jose will win that game. I changed my mind. Seven games in eight nights. How much has San Jose played? Okay, San Jose is the same, but they've been at home. I'm going to put San Jose PL and uh, probably the over on that game. Next game, uh, Los Angeles Anaheim. I'm going Los Angeles here. I'm going to keep on rolling with Los Angeles. I like the juice they're getting for how much pushback this team has. I'm hoping they realize that Peterson's a better goaltender here. I'm also going to go the under uh, total, under five and a half. Yeah, the under is not paying much because it's uh, Gibson's a great goaltender. If Peterson is in, Anaheim probably won't score enough to push this to the over. I think this could be like a three, three, four, one game, something like that. So you could take Los Angeles PL here if you want to really go for it. But Anaheim's got enough pushback that they can keep it close. They've been doing really well at that. But if you want to go Los Angeles and reg to juice it up really nice, more power to you. Do it. I, I wouldn't doubt that here. I, I like to take the safe bet, and you're already getting, uh, what are you getting on that? 183, so it's not too bad. Montreal, Vancouver. I'm all over the place on this one. I don't know where Montreal is right now. I do believe, oh, they just took a long they just went from Montreal to Vancouver or something like that, or Ottawa. Uh, they just took a long flight from Winnipeg. Winnipeg to Vancouver. Uh, so they flew to Winnipeg, had a day off in Vancouver, and are going to play now. So you've got jet lag and all kinds of stuff like that. Yeah, I'm going with Vancouver. Vancouver's played really well. Look at the juice you're getting on that. Put a unit on that at 226. Demko has been a rock. Uh, they still Price still doesn't look all that. But he's looking better, but I mean he hasn't been great this year, and it's probably going to be him. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to take Vancouver on the ML. And are they giving? Are they going six and a half here? Oh six. That feels like the number, so I'm probably fading the line. Well, boys and girls, that's my full 42. That's all I have to give for you today. Hope you're enjoying this fine programming. Hit the subscribe button. I'll give you a mining trail pearls of wisdom necklace directly to your door. Pearlocoptered by Melissa or Hernandez. And, uh, yeah, and it's just fun hitting that. Just try it. Just touch the subscribe button. See, it makes you all warm and fuzzy on your insides. Okay, have a great day, everybody. Talk to you for Tuesday's picks tomorrow. Okay, bye.